lot of times we have to make um, instructional documents. So coming to this conference, we have to create um, uh, documents here that will sort of teach you how to do certain things. And so I wanted to show you a technique that I use all the time in InDesign that comes from techniques we use in web design, which is using something called the sprite sheet. The idea is we import the same graphic multiple times and just crop it to different sizes. And so what this allows us to do is not only just use and manage one graphic, but we can then make changes very quickly as well. So I'm gonna hop over here to page two. And on page two, I basically have a single Photoshop file that's been imported three times. So if I come in here, we can see interface ID PSD has three instances. If we come over here into the page, we have the item put here once. Then I have the item put in here a second time, sort of zoomed up a little bit, so I've cropped down to the swatches panel. <laughs> and then if we come over here to the history area, this is that main section here. So now let's show people how we use the links panel. So I'm gonna hold the option key, click and drag. Then I'm gonna come in here and get my content selection tool, and I'm just gonna move the graphic so that I can see the links panel. So I'll move this up, then we'll come in here and do fancy things with the arrows and say, in the links panel, we're gonna point to here and make sure that the links panel shows us that we're importing this individual graphic. Everything looks great, right? So inside of InDesign, um, I don't really wanna use the light interface, I wanna use the dark interface. So let's switch over to Photoshop. Let's change the layer, so I'm gonna change my screenshot from the light interface in InDesign to the dark interface. Save Photoshop, go back to InDesign. In the links panel, I'll select the Photoshop file, hit relink, and every graphic in my layout is now modified with that new graphic. So. Wow. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.